News breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook, Prince Mila Entertainment, Facebook group, at Prince Mila Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter, it's a P Mila ENT. Follow us on Twitter and follow back. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, our breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Today is the 3rd of uh, February uh, 2020. So here's the latest guys. MDCT President Douglas Monzora has recalled his erstwhile deputy Tokozan Kupe and the Ali Nomvulanguni for pretending to be made after they purportedly formed a political party with the same identity. Wangi legislator Daniel Molokele has also been recalled for siding with the newly formed uh, Citizens Coalition for Change Party. Their recall has been communicated to the clerk of parliament with announcements set to be made on February 15 when house sittings resumes. Kupe announced a leadership of MDCT soon after Monzora made public his decision to use the MDC alliance name at March 26 by elections. She argued that he was now in charge of two political parties and hence he had fired herself from the MDCT whose constitution barred the same. Monzora confirmed the recalls but directed all questions to party spokesperson witness Dube. Dube said Kupe and Mguni had displayed a certain level of madness by forming a party of their own when their leadership had decided to use a separate vehicle at the next elections. He did not explain reasons uh, behind Molekele's recall, who had not yet been made aware of his exposure. We have recalled Tokozan Kupe, Numvula Mguni, and Daniel Molekele, said Dube. Kupe and Mguni have been recalled because they are calling themselves the MDCT, something which is not within our party, and they have been recalled for pretending to be made by forming another political party on their own. Kupe has already been saved and on Wednesday told reporters a letter had been sent via FedEx by Parliament. She told reporters she was being suffocated and could no longer breathe. To my surprise, on the 26th of January 2022, I received a letter from the Speaker of Parliament through a courier, FedEx, which was delivered to my house in Bulawayo together with my colleague Nomvula Mguni to the effect that we had been recalled and we are no longer members of parliament, said Kupe. I've never heard in the history of parliament a member being recalled through a letter sent to their home by FedEx at a time when the parliament is not in session. Parliament will be resuming in a fortnight and you, sh you would think while the speaker of parliament was such in a hurry to recall me by a letter he wrote while sitting in his office and sending it through FedEx. That is unprocedural. My understanding of parliamentary operations is that the speaker derives his powers from the mess when he is sitting on his chair in the House of Assembly and in the presence of sitting members of parliament because the mess is a symbol of authority of the House and the speaker. Without the mess, the House cannot sit and pass laws. This is what Kupe said and that's what Douglas Monzora have said regarding to the recall of uh, Madame Kupe and uh, Nomvula Mguni and Daniel Molekele who has joined uh, the newly formed uh, political party uh, Citizens Coalition for Change uh, and so I'm going to keep you guys in the loop for getting any new information they are saying that uh, Kupe is made and they are forming a party with the same name as MDCT and so this war uh, back and forth between them it will continue and we're gonna keep you guys in the loop here on daily news uh, breaking news on uh, prince miller entertainment tv remember guys to like share and comment and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any for new uploads that we do upload here on this channel which is our uh, daily news uh, breaking news prince miller entertainment tv every blessed day guys bless up